Hey, what's up everyone? This is my 1987 Nissan Van, Nissan Vanette. This is the USA model. And these were here in the US from 87 to 90. And they're very rare because most of them were recalled by Nissan or sent back to Nissan after the recalls that they had. And they um, crushed them all, 33,000 of them, I believe. So, um, and most people turned them in. So very rare to still see one of these. Basically, you probably thought it was a Toyota if you saw it or if you see it on the road. Because the Toyota model is a prevalent model that looks like this out there, but here goes the Nissan. So it's super rare. There's barely any out there. I could barely even find a picture of one on the internet. So basically, if you look for a picture of, of one, you're probably gonna find mine. Maybe a couple others. One just sold on eBay for 7,500. And it had a turbo motor in it though, but still it's pretty much the same. You could do whatever you want, like put motor wise in this if you don't want to keep the original motor. But this one has the original motor and it has had the recall done. The cooling system repair recall is done on it. I mean, you can still see it. It's 2014. The odometer says 202,000 miles. Even though it's broken, it, it is more than that. But it did make it that far. You can see it had the Nissan van cooling drive system re voluntary recall. You can't really probably read that. But um, there it is. So it's never caught on fire. You can see it's never caught on fire. I'll do it. I'll do an interior shots of it later. I want to get the outside of it now because I just washed it. So I want to get it as clean as I can on tape before the sun goes down for you guys. So let me try to show you. It's got a couple little dimples on it. And bam, nothing serious. Check out the cool graphics. If you can't see it with the blue stripe and the green stripe. Oh yeah, 1987. Um, so it's got a little dimple right there. You can see it. And then down there, looks like someone tried to jack on it. It wasn't me, believe me. And then we got a little bit of water from when I wash it. But you can see it's got a little paint fade, but actually for, this is stock paint. It's got a couple dimples there. You see right there from the antenna, it's banging around. So that's probably what that is. Um, let's see, what else? There's a couple little chips in the paint, but nothing serious. This just came off when I washed it, so very clean for original you just don't see these that much anymore and so it's, de it's definitely got like a little ding there and ding and it's got rock chips on the front you know you're not buying it for the paint um, the windshield has a crack in it I'll show it from pictures in my ad but you can see it's right there and it just spread out And um, so the back bumper is someone spray painted it black. I'm not sure if it was originally black. Oh, that no problem. Uh, this one, this one now, and then the next, we'll do the next one. Oh, no problem. Oh yeah, see you later. Okay, that was my neighbor. I just sold their Jag on eBay. And so here, this is mine, is up next. And um, let me turn it around for you guys. And in that, you will see that it runs. Kill two birds with one stone here. So the interior is pretty clean. You know, I got stuff sitting. There's a, it's got the paperwork right there. Let me see. can see from the inside you can see the crack and I'm gonna clean it up some more in here but it's got the back seat it's got one of the back seats it's missing the other one it's complete though you know for to even find one of these cars is very rare 
So it's all here, you know, it's got some dash cracks. So I'll, I'll armor, armor all it up a little bit. But it does start well, when you put the key in the correct way. The radio works, stock radio. It's, it's all stock, don't pay attention to the dash lights right at the moment. It's low on some fluids. This is just a video to see the exterior. Because it does need a little brake fluid and it does need some window washing fluid. And I haven't started it for a little while so it might cut out on me even though it probably won't but just in case. But it's very strong, it's smooth. You know I need some gas in it right now. see it moves it does go into all gears and that's essentially probably mostly what matters if you're buying the car so there it is right there now let me show you guys this side of it. It's got a little scrape right there and on the door a little bit. You know, pretty much all these vans, whether it's Toyota or Nissan, it seems like the driver seems to pull that off somehow. So it's got that right there, that right there. I mean, none of this stuff should really even matter because this is a Nissan van. And it's probably the only one you can find for sale. But you know, I do like to show you guys everything. And the mirror, loose, that comes down a little bit. So that's gonna need a little bit of repair or a piece of paper underneath it. And you can't really see the crack from there. But yeah, this video is pretty much to just show you guys the out exterior of the car I might even do another one in the sunshine or something it's always a race against time for me when I'm uh, going against the Sun here I like to wash the car and then take the video the same day so you can see the doors got a little dent right there but nothing major and, and it's a rest free car California that's where we're at, Oakland, California, the Bay Area. So there's no rest on it. Let me try to hop up on the back here. Let's see you guys. You can see the roof paint is a little faded. But that's about it. So all that stuff should be pretty minor. Oh, might as well show you guys inside while I'm at it. Carpet's a little bit dirty. Um, but it's here. The car is here. And you do not find these Nissan vans very often. So I, I hadn't seen any for sale. And, uh, I just did actually after I thought I had the only one but someone else someone else put one on eBay and they had a bunch of bids on it so the you guys know the Toyota vans maybe maybe do maybe don't the Toyota vans are pretty collectible but if you want a Nissan it's probably even more collectible so yeah it had like 75 it went for 7500 and I think he ended the auction early he said he sold it I got in contact with him so it's a rare one definitely i probably have the only one for sale here in north america and it's pretty good condition too it runs good you know i drove it home runs perfect it needs little things you know it's a 200,000 mile plus car you know, you're going to want to probably do some stuff to it. 
but it does run and drive. Um, for California, it's got a little bit of back fees on registration, so and it needs smog. It needs in California, it needs uh, smog and registration. I have a lean sale paperwork on it. It's from a, a auction, a, impound, a city impound auction. That's where I got it from. I've been going there for years, and I sometimes get random cars like this. And I had to get this one because I had never seen one before. At least I had not remembered seeing one. So here it is. Someone out there I know is going to want it. Oh, yeah. So if you want to get it registered in California, you're going to have to pay the back fees on it. And it hasn't been registered since um, 2010. Someone did put a credit on it. Uh, in like 2011 so it's got a $94 credit but it does owe about $600 so you would have to pay in California you'd have to pay $600 plus you'd have to get it smogged and then you could get the title with the lien sale paperwork that I have if you're from another state you don't have to pay any of those fees but it all depends on how your state is with California lien sale paperwork. Some some states have no problem accepting California lien sale paperwork and stuff. And some states are really strict. So it just depends what state you're in. You know there's a bunch of titling companies to go around that. If you look into it, if you're interested, you can contact me. I could try to give you some more info. But yeah, if it's going to stay in California, if you plan to get some plates on it and stuff like that, in California, you're going to need to do the smog and the back fees which is about $600. And if you're in another state, you don't have to do any of that. You just um, do what you do with it. So either way, it's a good project car. I'd hate to see it get put into parts, but I'm sure the parts are worth a lot of money on it. You know, I've seen people make these into like drifters. So that's super cool, you know, especially if you're into imports and stuff. You show up with this one, and you're gonna be like, "Damn, you're the only one with it." So if you're into having different stuff, and cool stuff, you know, I think it's cool. I really like these type of vans. I had a Toyota van, and I loved it. So everyone I've seen, if I ever see them at the auction or going, you know, for sale around here, I try to pick them up, you know. And this one, I, if it was a Toyota van, I probably would keep it. But it's Nissan, so. I like Nissan, don't get me wrong, but it's just I feel like it has a little bit too much value for me to hold on to. Like, I'd rather just put it out there in the world and see if someone can hook it up. Because it would be cool. Definitely not many left. So do your research on them if you don't know about them. But it's 87, uh, 1987 Nissan Vanette. And it's got the dual air conditioners with the, with the air, uh, with the ice box in there. You guys want to see inside again like I said I ain't armor all it or anything yet but it's clean you know it's missing the one seat but other than that it's complete and I'll, I'll do a video of the motor and stuff later you know it's getting dark out here so I'm going to wrap this up right now, but if you guys got any questions or want to see any more of it, have uh, any comments, you know, go ahead and leave them on the YouTube or contact me on my email through eBay, wherever you're seeing this. So it is for sale. If you're seeing this video in like two years from when it was posted, then it's probably sold by now. So if you're seeing this video and it just got posted, I probably still have it. But there it is. 1987 Nissan Van XE. Make sure I got that right. XE, yeah, got it. And I'll come back with more pictures and videos and information for you guys later. But there it is, looking clean as it's gonna be when you wash it. Cool. See you guys later. Peace.